danger, I'll be doing reactions in this video that produce deadly fumes. Doing these reactions inside an enclosed area without proper ventilation could cause serious injury or death. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Three Tips here. In a previous video, I uh, processed some jeweler's filings and clippings out of his uh, tool drawer. And I uh, recovered these uh, bits of metal from that video. There's three gold buttons there and a piece of silver. And today what I'm going to try to what do... What we'll do is uh, repurify these and then cast it into a, a nice single pure gold ingot for the jeweler. And we're going to do that right now. We're going to restart the repurification by adding the gold buttons to a melt dish here. Get them molten and then pour it into some cold water here to form some shot. Add the gold flakes to the uh, beaker here. There's no need to rinse that gold with distilled water because I'll be turning it into a chloride when I dissolve it in aqua regia. Now I'm going to add some hydrochloric acid here, about 200 ml. And I'll put a cover on it, put it on the heat. I'm going to start adding small doses of nitric acid to it here and get the gold to go into solution so we can repurify it. That was about an ml and a half. That's about three ml. That's four and a half. That's three more. It's about seven and one half ml of nitric acid in there with the gold. Gold has been dissolving now for about an hour and a half, and I got 10.5 ml of concentrated nitric in there. I'm going to add three more ml of nitric right now.
finally got everything to go in solution here. It's been on about five hours. Go ahead and add a little bit of sulfuric acid, precipitate out any lead that might have made it into there. We'll turn the heat off. We'll take it off and let it cool. I'll add a few ice cubes. Get it to cool down some. I'm using the number 101 filter, fast, because that's all I got right now. Got some silver chloride in here or something. It's cloudy, so I'm going to go ahead and pour it through a filter. It out. Still got a little bit of cloudiness in there as you can see. We go ahead and pour it into this uh, beaker. I've rinsed the beaker out real good here. I'm going to pour it in this beaker and go ahead and precipitate it with some stump out. I'll add some stump out now and go ahead and precipitate the gold. filter paper up here in the funnel. I'm going to go ahead and pour off the waste here. My stock pot's full so I've got to store this waste until I can get a chance to get in there empty out my stock pot and put all this waste in there. Now I'll get the gold into this funnel or this filter paper here. Hydrochloric acid here. Gold's got a nice color to it. It's nice and fine. You should clean it up nicely. Here's a look at my stock pot. It's uh, pretty full there. I'm going to go ahead and pull the bubbler out. Let this settle for a couple days. And I'll go ahead and siphon off the waste. transfer the uh, contents of the funnel back in the beaker here. Go ahead and dissolve this again. I'll add a couple of hundred uh, ml of hydrochloric acid here. Put it on the heat. Now I'll start dosing the uh, mixture with some nitric acid here. There's 3 ml. Six. Nine. Twelve. I'm going to hold off right there. The Twelve ml concentrated nitric acid in there now. Go ahead and put the sulfuric acid in now. Just an ml or so. Just as a precaution, precipitate, any, precipitate out any lead that might be in there. Notice how the filter paper just falls apart. And that will aid us uh, when we go to uh, cool this down and run it through another filter. 
that will actually help filter uh, any real fine stuff out of the chloroauric acid solution. Gold's been on the heat now less than an hour and uh, everything has gone to the solution with just 12 ml of uh, nitric acid. I'm going to pull it out here and let it cool off. I'm going to add some ice cubes to the solution here to cool it off so we can filter it. Filter paper in the funnel there. It's a Wattman number one fast filter. Go ahead and filter the solution again now. Notice how cloudy the solution looks here. That's from the filter paper that disintegrated uh, while we dissolved the gold in aqua regia. how the solution should look after we filter it. It's crystal clear with no traces of cloudiness. It's exactly what we're looking for for high purity gold. I've rinsed all the color out of the filter here and the extra water going through the filter and into the solution hasn't produced any cloudiness whatsoever. This is going to make some real high purity gold here. Filtering operation is complete. I'm going to go ahead and pull the filter off. I've got a beaker here set aside specifically for precipitate pure gold. It's a real clean beaker, pristine, never been used before. I'm going to go ahead and transfer the solution into my precipitation beaker. Now we'll add some stump out and precipitate out the gold. Sop that up with a filter paper and add it to my papers here. The gold is settled nicely now. I'm going to go ahead and pour off the waste and then try to get this gold in a filter paper so we can go ahead and melt it up. Make a nice uh, bar for the jeweler. the gold with some hydrochloric acid. Now I'll transfer the gold to this melt dish here. Put it over here to the melt table. Get it started. Here's our nice little gold bar. We'll give this to the jeweler tomorrow. Should be real happy with that. That's very, very bright and shiny. Looks like real pure gold. Let's see what kind of weight we get off of this thing. We got 29.5, 29.5 grams of pure gold.
And that'll conclude the uh, repurification of the jeweler's uh, buttons that we did for him out of his drawer sweeps. Uh, as you can see, there was some impurities in there as we uh, processed it out there in the fume hood. So, uh, but now we've got it nice and pure. It should be a three nines fine, no problem.